Oh, hey, good morning. How are you guys today? Today I have made some delicious overnight oats. And let's see if we can get a picture. Yum. And guess what? You are lucky enough to get to watch me not only eat my overnight oats, but see how I make them. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? The great thing about overnight oats, especially in the summertime, is you can eat these cold. And I love them right out of the fridge. And it's so easy to make. This right here is just the base. You can add all kinds of stuff to it if you want to liven it up in the morning. But I personally just like my oats and my almond milk. Mmm. So, what we're going to need is oats. Now the oats are very important whenever you're doing overnight oats. What I use is Bob Red's Mills um, rolled oats, okay, and organic. Organic is one of those things with oats that you do want to try to get to. If you're gluten-free, you can actually find gluten-free oats as well. So this is really one of those breakfasts that anybody can eat no matter what your diet is is so always rolled oats steel cut oats will not cut it in this recipe okay so make sure that you're getting rolled oats the next thing that you want is some ground flax seed now you can put chia seed in this i love the flax seed okay and I'm using flaxseed meal. You can get flaxseed and grind it up yourself if you want. The reason why I like the flaxseed is because it helps with your digestive system and especially evacuation, if you know what I mean. So that's why I really like the flaxseed. I'm sorry, these are so good. Mmm. And that's it for the dry ingredients. Now, out of the fridge, you're going to need a couple of things. You can go ahead and use milk if you want. Since I am dairy free, I go with almond milk. Today, I am drinking it out of the container because life has just been craziness and I haven't had the chance to make my own almond milk lately I did just purchase a brand new blender though to hopefully help me out with that so I'm gonna need my almond milk unsweetened try not to get the one with vanilla um, not a bunch of extra sugar just straight up almond milk now you can use any kind of uh, milk substitute if you want. Or, like I said, just go ahead and put milk in it. That's fine, too, if you can tolerate it. But there's, um, you could use uh, coconut milk. You could use oat milk if you really want to overdo the oats. <laughs> just be careful of your carbs if you're going to do that, okay? Now, the next thing that you're going to need, and really the last thing that you need, is a little bit of sweetener. My favorite sweetener is maple syrup. You want pure maple syrup. Try to get as close to pure as what you can. If you know somebody that makes their own maple syrup, I happen to. She never sends me any. I guess we're not as good of friends as what I thought. But if you know somebody who makes their own maple syrup, grab that. Now, you can use other substitutions if you want. You can use honey, you can use stevia, whatever you would like. However, I just love the taste that the maple syrup brings. And because sometimes I like to add a little extra punch to my oatmeal uh, the next day, such as some strawberries and chocolate chips, 
I make chocolate covered strawberry oats. Really good. Um, this is going to be great for it. And that is all you need as far as ingredients go. So let's go ahead and put this together, shall we? Alexa says, no, I say after a glass of coffee. So as you saw, I pulled my overnight oats out of a mason jar this morning, which is great if you have it. I'm going to go ahead and make tomorrow's breakfast straight in a bowl. So I have my little handy dandy bowl nothing fancy and you're going to need a measuring cup and a couple of spoons so here we go and i need a measuring cup one more thing are you guys ready because this is going to start getting put together super duper quick I'm going to bring you over here so that you can see a little bit better what we are going to do. So we have our bowl. You need a half a cup of oats. So you get your half cup measure, half cup. Take another bite of your oatmeal. Mm -mm -mm. Next, you're going to need a teaspoon. That wouldn't work. Of flaxseed. And then I like to just kind of stir that together. Just so that you guys can see what that flaxseed meal looks like. And there you are. Okay, flaxseed is done. Next, you're going to need three quarter cup of your milk substitute. And the way I like to do it is right into my milk substitute. I'm going to put my maple syrup, and that is one tablespoon of maple syrup. I have a half tablespoon measure here, so I'm going to go one and two halves make a whole. That would make more sense if my assistant was with me today. So we are going to stir that up. I just like to make sure that my maple syrup is going to be well incorporated through my oats. And then we are going to take and pour that right in. Give it a little swirl. Now this is where if it was in a mason jar, you could just give it a little shake. And you do want this to get airtight in the end. So what I would like to do then is you take your saran wrap. Kind of push it down over the milk to create that seal. And take a walk with me. Why not? We are going to pop this into the fridge. And then it is going to work its magic overnight into tomorrow. So that is it. Overnight oats. 
half a cup of rolled oats, one teaspoon of either chia seeds or ground flax seed, three quarter cup of a milk substitute, and one tablespoon of maple syrup or your liquid, it does have to be liquid by the way, your liquid um, sugar substitute of choice. And that's it. And then you have a super wonderful, super nutritious breakfast ready to go next day. Add some fruit in there. Like I said, a little handful of chocolate chips with some cut up strawberries is delicious. Also good is to throw in some blueberries, great antioxidants in blueberries. Add your bananas in there if you would like. Another great thing if you do make it in the mason jar is you can take it to work with you. Eat it in the car when you're stuck in traffic or at a stoplight. Don't be eating it while you're driving, please. We don't need accidents. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I cannot wait to see more of you. And I'm gonna finish my coffee, finish my oats, and we will see you later. Peace, love, and rockets.